So we're at the beacons. Can't find the horses yet. <laughs> I think they might be in their paddocks, but I'm not sure. Um, we thought we might have a little look down at the woods today. I wonder if they'll clean this out. So we're coming down to where the um, the Iron Age, Iron Age um, Circle Hut thing is down here. I was just looking at that tree because it'll only be probably a month and I'll be covered in greenery and flowers and whatever. I can't believe, well I can believe because I've been told, but it's it's weird because I've grown up because my auntie used to live in America, in Indiana, and uh, how wonderful the place is with heat and sunshine all year round and all that sort of thing. So I kind of thought all America was like that, but talking to some of my extended family, it's weird to hear that like one person she's got two feet of snow fell overnight amazing don't think of that I still have family actually out in America in Maine so quite near the top I think never been there though Bluebells seem to be later this year. I'm sure they were out this time last year. So we're all inside this house. Stupidly I've come out without a coat on and it's not that warm. But hopefully once in the woods it will be warmer. Here's the uh, Iron Age hut circle, circle hut, can't remember which way it goes round. They had round houses made out of granite, obviously. I don't know if they would have had a thatched roof of some sort. All these trees are getting their flowers on them. I know there's a proper word for this, putting the flat getting the flowers and leaves on their trees, but do you think I can think of it? All right, good boy. So we're here. So 
some of these trees look really old and decrepit and I know how they feel. Funny how they run off in here. Want to go and explore. It's like one tree there split into three. Amazing. Oh, I'm glad I didn't bring my coat now. <laughs> Hot now. Problem about coming here, it's all downhill to get here, which is brilliant, but it's all uphill on the way back. Oh, it looks like they've blocked off our... Oh, no, they haven't. I thought they blocked off our way to get in a bit further. I thought they'd blocked there, but it's actually there we go over. our usual way don't remember this tree being quite this low before you fall let me get under I'm sure that wasn't like that before It's not going to move, so it must, must have been, I suppose. Perhaps I've come in a different way. A short stumpy tree <laughs> it's like piles everywhere where the men have been in cleaned up some of the old dead ferns I suppose making piles oh some bluebells
I don't know why, but it looks different to me. It doesn't look how it did when I last come here. I suppose woods do change, don't they? My seat's still there, so that's the main thing. I think this is so clever, this seat. Carved out of a tree trunk. Funny how some trees like sort of split at the roots and come up. There's like one, two, three, four, five trees there, but no tree trunk. I suppose these nesting boxes have got birds in and babies. They, um, I combed the boys. Well, I try and comb them most evenings, but I did the other day and put the fur out in the garden. It was gone within minutes. It must have been the right time because I've done it before and nobody's touched it. But I've got some more to go out there. I saw a seagull with a load of twigs in his mouth. They come and make a nest on the roof of our house. We've got a flat roof. And they come, it's probably the same family every year. They have their babies. And by about the end of June, they fly off again. And uh, twice, two different years, once um, a baby fell off into our backyard. And uh, of course, I didn't know what mum was going to do. So... I picked the baby up because he was squawking for his mum. His mum was looking down at me and squawking for him. And uh, I put him in the box. And I was able to get out of the... Because actually we got two flat roofs. So I was able to get out the window of one flat roof to get to the other flat roof where the birds were nesting. And uh, I put the baby seagull in a box and took him right up to the top thinking all oh, this mum's gonna attack me in a minute but no she was she stood there she watched everything i was doing and put the box up there and she went in and shooed him out i think he was quite happy in there and uh in fact i left the box up there for them and another time They'd fallen, a baby had fallen onto the flat roof from the other flat roof, the top flat roof down to the next floor. And uh, yeah, I went back out the window, up onto the roof. This time I didn't have a box, I just picked the baby up and put it back up on the roof. And the neighbours were saying, Oh, don't do that, the mum will attack you. I says, well, baby can't get to mum like this. He's got to go. And she didn't. She just sat there and watched me pick him up and put him up on the roof.
I think they know when you're trying to hurt them or harm them or help them. New leaves, new life, summer's on its way at last. We can hear voices. Can't believe there's somebody in our woods. How dare they? I wonder how many stories that tree can tell you. It's massive. Kane, he's a naughty boy isn't he, not used to Kane being a naughty boy, jumping over the wall, you're trying to escape, What you got there, Kane? Oh my goodness, that's a big log. I think it's a bit rotten, so you're getting a mouthful of bits. <coughs> what? Oh. oh my goodness! Didn't expect you to pick that up. Don't flick all the dirt over me, thank you. Gonna move over that way. Scraping up. We've got a little house ready for the wildlife. Don't know what the voices are. Where's your stick? Oh, yeah. That's quite a big stick, actually, isn't it? Not the normal kind of sticks that you can see there. I can see a tree over there with those mushrooms. Peacock mushrooms, are they called? Go on, sweetheart. Distorts them a bit, doesn't it, when I zoom in too far? Oh, goodness me, he's brought that big log with him.
be looking at mushrooms. Definitely animals come here use these little houses because you see the tracks. It's not a path, but it's a track that they've made to get into this little house here. You bringing that with us, are you? Are you going to bring that with us? Sounds like somebody's working over there. I wonder who actually goes in there. Deer, foxes. Nice for them. Keeping them cosy and warm. Pray, pray. Here. <clears throat> oh, lose my voice. Come here. Don't run off. I might use their hammer on your head. I think there's somebody working in here. I suppose there's always the risk places like this of somebody getting hurt with a broken branch or something and then suing somebody. Roots look like a hand. What well, it does to me. <laughs> I've totally lost my bearings in here today.
but we're getting closer. Hello, sweetie. I see we're coming to where all the new trees have been planted. That's good because there's a water hole up here as well. So you get a drink. Must be somebody working on a house, probably that one over there. Not in the trees at all, in the woods at all. Looks like the water hole is turned to mud and yuck. We know where that goes, it just goes down to that path, doesn't it? Looks like some of them have died actually, I suppose they've just come into life, a bit more into spring. But that one's turned into a little twig. This one seems to be still living. this one. 